Good morning, everyone. Well, today my topic that well the topic that I chose for today is texting and driving, and why we should put a stop to it. Um, how many of you guys drive? Period. Okay. How many of you guys can't go a day without either receiving a text message or sending a text message? Be honest. I'm so popular. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Texting while driving is the most common car accident there is today. 23% of car accidents are because of texting and driving. And um, I personally could say that I, I text a good amount of time throughout the day or just receive text messages throughout the day. And I really do. But um, another reason why I can relate to this topic is because two years ago, I, got in a, I was in a car accident, I was involved in a car accident, and the driver that hit us actually was supposedly not texting, but he was looking at his phone. He was not only te um, looking at his phone, but, um, well, of course, not paying attention to the road. He was um, speeding, and we were in a school zone as well. Um, luckily, it wasn't as bad, but just as I, I know you guys have seen, like, those text messaging commercials that, like, tell you to avoid doing it, how bad it can really be and cause death. So today I would like to share more about why texting and driving should stop and should be important for us to take seriously and realize that it is a major problem. First and foremost, I want to explain the problems of texting drive, and driving. Did you guys know take um, Did you guys know that texting makes makes it three, 23 more times likely for you to be in a car accident? Honestly, thought that was kind of shocking. Like 23 more times for you to like be in a car car accident just for receiving a text. It could be like ridiculous as just like LOL or like okay, I'll see you soon or something like that. It's like how is that going to be significant enough for you to like just either take your own life, hurt yourself, or hurt others. So it can easily um, lead to harm yourself or others, a horrific car accident, which can lead to death, of course. Um, people focus so much on replying to the text, which co causes the driver to lose control of the car. And these are just two pictures, and this one I found pretty funny. It says, do you have any idea how fast you were going? And then the, the guy that crashed replies, Maybe texting 25 or 30, 30 words a minute. <laughs> and I mean, like, you know, it happens. I know in reality, like, we do it or we check on our phone, but I just really think we should put a stop to it. So, <clears throat> according to the website, texting and driving, according to the website, According to the website, texting and driving safely, 13% of the drivers from ages 18 and 23 are involved in car accidents due to texting and driving. And if you guys really pay attention, we're, we're within 18 and 20, so 13% <clears throat> of like our age group is more likely to get in a car accident, car accident just because of that. And like I said um, prior that, uh, just for reading a, like a ridiculous text message saying that okay or just let the letter K literally um, can lead for us to have like a car accident or hurt, hurt others. So now that I talked about the problems of um, texting and driving, I'm gonna now talk about the causes of texting and driving. What is something you guys think causes a person to text and drive? <laughs> Girlfriends, yeah, that's true. Anybody else? Uh, it's, I don't know, just like wondering what the text is. <laughs> so two of the ones that I found in most websites that I was like researching on was multitask master and overconfidence driver. And by multitask master, I mean um, like they think you could you. Well, it's true. You know, some people could even listen to music, be reading, doing homework, watching TV, and eating. And I mean, yeah, it's possible. Okay, it's possible. But um, while driving, it's a whole different story. And also overconfidence driver. Um, you who, who here thinks actually you're the best driver? Like you guys believe you guys are the best driver. <laughs> okay, so that's for overconfidence driver. And then this picture is the story how he's reading a newspaper on the phone, drinking coffee, and driving. And then this one, the overconfidence driver, which is she's on the internet. It's over, it's ridiculous the computers, but um, I just thought it was funny because she like really thinks she's like the best driver. And according to the website Texting and Driving, oh no, according to an article by Mary Hargwell Walker, Texting and Driving Disaster in the Making, they say overconfidence drivers are, overconfidence of your driving can cause you to believe that you
you can text and drive when in reality any sort of distraction can cause to a sudden car accident no matter how good of a driver you really are. So now that I talked about both the problems of texting and driving and the, uh, the causes of um, texting and driving, I'm not gonna be talking about the solution. One solution that I think works is turning off those notification lights that you have on your phone. So like, you know how well, on my phone, it's, it's a green light that turns on when I get a text message and it's a blue light when I get a missed call or something. So just putting that far where you won't see that little light beeping and like, or even just the noise, like just putting that and keeping that away is a good solution. Also, keep your phone somewhere you won't see it. For example, like for girls, um, I know if I put my ba my phone inside my bag, knowing that it's big, I won't even be able to find it while driving. So I'll just put it there and won't touch it at all. And then for men, like in the little side sh where you put your arm in, you could put it in there on silent or on vibrate. And then, or ask the passenger to read your text for you or respond for you. Um, just like you, when you know you're gonna receive a text message or something, that's the best solution. According to the stop, text stop rex, the best way to avoid or solve this is by putting your phone where you can't get it or place it where you won't even be tempted to look at it. So basically out of sight, out of mind is the best solution. Uh, so now that I talk, oh, well, these are two pictures. I'll put your phone down, obviously. And then this picture, I thought it was pretty cool because um, I, I, I picture myself like me being over here and all those who text and drive could like be in a whole, like your own lane so you just hit, hit your own cards, you know? I don't want to be paying for my car to get prepared <laughs> or yours. So I thought that was a pretty funny picture. So now that we all know why we should put a stop to texting and driving, I will end, this, I will end with this video. My phone would ring and it'd be him saying, hi Ma, what you doing? And he knew that I was at work. And just those little things throughout the day, he'd always say, I love you. I love you, Ma. This is the unfinished text message that our son was typing when he drove off the road and died of a massive skull fracture. Stop the text, stop the wreck. So basically, if you stop the texting while driving, you'll avoid any wrecking your own car or any anybody else's car. And I hope well, what I went over today on the causes, the problems, and the solutions can help avoid you guys from uh, texting and driving any other day soon. Thank you.